peace to you all in this video we are going to make a comment about the comments uh, this video actually it's making the Muslims very very much upset so I would like everybody to uh, watch it and download it and post it everywhere this video and the video before it about women right there's two of them actually now here there's a Muslim he is so upset because as usual you know all Muslims are so upset because of what I do because they notice how stupid their religion is and uh, you know especially I'm showing a reference and showing in the screen everything you need to know about the stupid religion of Islam which is nothing but a collection of fairy tale stories and legions of old generations before Islam actually even the Quran says that that people they accuse Muhammad that he is a thief and he is stealing, stealing collections of legions of others so the Arab they knew already that this is nothing but a legion all right you see here in the illa asatirul awalin this is nothing but the fairy tale stories of the old nations before you all right do you see it they accuse him many times during his lifetime that this is the stories we know you are you know those but all those are legions are stupid fairy tale stories and Muhammad with no shame still he collect them and he put them as part of his books look how many time they keep saying to him those are legions it's all over the Quran you see it here we go it's a tales fairy tale stories the fact the word asatir is not only a tale it is uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's exaggerating of stupidity you know uh, like astura it's a it's a it's a fabrication with exaggeration of things happen there like you know if, uh, things like a flying like today what we call it fiction like people spider-man and blah 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 etc but at that at that time they have their own kind of fiction stories and Muhammad he heard those stories and he made them part of his Quran and this Abdul he is trying to prove me wrong and he post something underneath of this video this Abdul his name I will make him famous his name is Salim Abud <laughs> unbelievable let us see what Salim Abud he said Salim Abud where is your post and you will notice my friends here this guy he got me busted I mean seriously this guy is seriously seriously intelligent he said what a liar foolish Christian princes he's insulting me now why you don't show the in your clip full hadith or verse what do you mean full hadith or verse? I'm showing the hadith number I'm showing the, the Quran page I mean the, 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 the chapter number the verse number in the front of the screen and even I'm showing the interpretation of the verse what do you want more but look he wanted to get me busted and this guy is a smart actually this guy he reminds me of a smart guy like him his name is Dr. Zakir Naik you know Zakir Naik once just to show you how smart the Muslims are once they ask him why there is no women she is a prophet in Islam he said first of all brother sister let me assure you that in Islam there is no women here prophet however the reason there is no woman to the prophet in Islam because if a woman to become a prophet you have to read the congregation if there's the congregation you have to bend over if you bend over that would disturb the Muslim prayer thank you very much so the smart Abdul saying that there is no woman in Islam is a prophet because if she bend over every Muslim will look at her ass may Allah ask you with this intelligence and this guy is exactly the same he decided to, to defend his prophet but he did expose him more look what he said read the Jewish view in the f flying carpet of us of, of and cinnamon <laughs> you idiot this is not the Jewish this is not the Jewish view you dummy donkey monkey <laughs> this is this is the Jewish legions you idiot do, do you even Muslims read oh I forgot you are a follower of the illiterate Muhammad uh, the prophet of the Hummus actually even Hummus is not even your mate even in the Arabian Peninsula they have no idea what Hummus is let us click at the link he gave us to show you how this guy is an official donkey like his prophet he is trying to prove to us remember if you go back he is trying to prove to us the flying carpet there all right the flying carpet 
and let me I have to show you that this is what he's trying to show us that the flying carpet is not a stupid story it's real so he want to convince us that the flying carpet is a real story and it is not a fiction for sure he will win you know I mean who in the world can deny that the flying carpet is uh, uh, is real uh, where is what is his post what happened I'm trying to find his post. Uh, Salim Abud, Salim Abud. Here we go, here we go. Sorry for that. <clears throat> so he's saying, Solomon Carbet. All right? So the whole here post he is making for the, the flying carpet, which means he's trying to prove to us it is not only the Muslims we are the stupid he is trying to say to you well the Jewish are stupid too so what do you say of that huh you stupid idiot the Jews don't believe in this and I will show you from the website you gave us this is the website you gave us as you see I click we open it here we go in the side it says Salamun carpet let us first expand the size of the page so everybody can read better <clears throat> all right here we go you are the one who mentioned the carpet by the way there is the eagle of Solomon there is the temple of Solomon there is uh, etc and even the ant my friend even the ant story Muhammad he stole it from there and here is the story of the Queen of Sheba <laughs> By the way, do you know that your prophet he he, uh, he mentioned in the Quran that when Solomon he died he was dead, and 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 the interpretation explained more details that when he died he was die he died and he was standing up, and the reason for one year guys nobody noticed that this guy is dead. Some stories face for for a for a couple of months or like a, a six month, for one year is standing dead and nobody noticed that he is dead, and how they notice he is dead? because the termite they ate his stick and then he fell down unbelievable story i mean a king he died and the ministers and the wives and the soldiers nobody noticed that he is dead they go to his throne and he's standing there no comment <clears throat> now we click at the solomon carpet do you see it abdul this is what you choose for us from the same page i will go a little bit up a little bit up a little bit up and i got a surprise for you mr donkey <clears throat> I hope donkeys will not ins be feel insulted for calling a Muslim a donkey. Do you see what it says here, Abdul? Importance in Jewish legions. Do you see it? This is legions. This is nothing to do with the Bible, and this is nothing to do with the true belief. Those are collection of legions. The Jews they tell their stories or the fairy tale stories for their children. So the Jews agree that those are legions. Then you can read the whole testament, the old, the old testament, and you will not find any of those stories there. Why? Because simply they are stupid legions. So when you as a Muslim you agree that those are legions, and your prophet he stole them from the Jews and he put them in his book that's mean your prophet is a fake prophet for he is a thief of allegiance like I wish he stole from the Old Testament a true story but he is a stealing legions a flying carpet a flying horse you know do you know that he mentioned the fly a uh, 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 certain man he used to have a flying horse before the flying carpet but because he slaughtered him when he get angry Allah replaced the flying horse with the flying carpet and I can show you Aisha she heard about the flying carpet and the flying horse sorry she used to play with the toys with it and this is why Muhammad he come with the story of the flying mule he have he called it al Burak. this is story is coming from the legion of the Jews and the legion of the Jews is coming from the, the from the Assyrian who have legions too about flying uh, animals so uh, uh, all of this is a collection of legions and the, the question is how someone he claimed to be a prophet of God he agree with legions to make them as part of his story 
how you agree with it so if we go to the, the if we go to the carpet issue we go down <coughs> uh, like here as, as an example the story uh, the story of uh, uh, of uh, a ceremony judgment you know it's all of this is a is a is a is a, is a collection of lesions you know and then uh, we go down to the carpet let's go to the carpet the eagle of Suleiman the Quran speak about the hood hood all right uh, and here the carpet you will see it's exactly the same story would say it would you know like Muhammad he just uh, uh, make it shorter and you know you will see here that the flying carpet you know it carry it carry all his kingdom ship and you know read with me here you know you see it so he ordered the wind and the Quran says, says the same that Suleiman he ordered the, the wind and the wind carry him so those are legions and you Muslims you copy legions from the Jews and you put in the Quran and Muhammad always do that as an example for all Muhammad life he never mentioned the punishment of the grave and one day a Jewish woman she came to the house of Muhammad as you see it here Aisha said that a Jews came to her and mentioned the punishment in the grave saying to her may Allah protect you from the punishment of the grave hmm? Aisha she said then she asked the prophet or the apostle about the punishment of the grave he said yes there is punishment in the grave I should then, then after that she said I never saw the apostle but seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment in the grave in every prayer if you analyze this uh, hadith with me you will notice that Muhammad he never mentioned the punishment of the grave ever before until a Jew told Aisha about the punishment of the grave Aisha she told Muhammad about the punishment of the grave and since then Muhammad he cannot pass a day without saying I seek Allah refuse I seek refuge to Allah from the punishment of the grave <laughs> I mean if the punishment of the grave is so scary and Muhammad he is a prophet of Allah how come he never heard of it until the Jew he told him and then he stuck with it and the proof that Muhammad never mentioned it before because Aisha why she is surprised why they you know if Muhammad mentioned it before and as you see this is mean before that time before that day Muhammad never ever ever mentioned such a thing and this is one of the part of the Jewish legions that when you go in the grave your punishment start so Muhammad he copy it and he make it part of his religion and now he is teaching the Muslims that there is a punishment of the grave this is why he slept with the mother of Ali Fatima bin to Asad when she was when she died he slept with her in the grave why because simply he want to make the pressure of the grave lighter but Muhammad never mentioned it before until a Jew he told Aisha that and this is why Muhammad he always he copy and he tried to 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 uh, to hide uh, uh, his theft like as you see here a story of a Jewish guy when Muhammad was doing a funeral and Muhammad praying standing so a Jew he told him this is how we do it this is how we do it Muhammad right away he said to his men sit down sit down and let us act differently why because obviously he's a thief he is copying from them and he thought by acting differently he will not be accused anymore of his stealing of the Jew so thank you Muslims for exposing your prophet don't forget if you want to learn more you can get my books from amazon.com by searching for Christian Prince and you will find all the list of my books and soon our German copy will be out and we have the Swedish and we have the French get your copy and learn about the cult stupid religion of Islam thank you and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe.